Soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help you can give. Oh shit! Oh, they're here! Holy crap, dog! I wasn't prepped for this. <laughs> I don't have any uh, abilities ready right now, but we're just gonna have to do with what we got. Stop him down! What the shit? You bitch! Come here! Oh my gosh! I love it. This this little sack of ass. Here, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get in. Oh, ha <laughs> oh. Watch out, boom! Here's the other guy. Oh. oh my gosh, I love it so very much. You're cutting my nuts. There we go. It's so good. That was good. Hopefully this... I wonder if it actually literally does weaken their forces pretty good. Once we get to the castle assault in this story part. Is that it? Y'all good? Okay, I found Sigurd and Bassin. We're gonna go chill with them. And hopefully Sigurd doesn't launch us into a massive war here. But he does believe that he's gonna be the leader of all of England, which is pretty bold, so... I'm getting nervous, y'all. This story is getting crazier and crazier. I'm good at that. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanese Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. <coughs> Are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Well, y'all, that was... That was whack. What do we know um, of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Yo, I'm getting... I'm impressed by the game. I'm worried for Eivor and Sigurd's relationship, though. Because, I mean, I want us to be okay. I remember in the very beginning of the game, the seer, the very first seer trip out, uh, she told us that we were probably going to betray Sigurd, and we refused to believe it. And, I mean, Eivor just said he's not going to do it. But Sigurd asked why the mistrust, and Eivor is saying it's not mistrust, it's just you're losing sight of our purpose. There's definitely strife between us. I'm really hoping that Dad doesn't put a further damper between the brothers. But I'm nervous, man. And Bassam? I used to like Bassam, but I'm starting to feel like he is not epic. I don't know, I could be wrong about that, though. Bassam could be chill. Where is this woman? There will be a crypt or dungeon near the central church. 
church, I believe. So that one kind of explained how we may have missed it, or maybe early in the game it wasn't even an option. She's here, but... Ooh, that was cool, what Bassam just did. See, he just took the hammer to the face and, like, didn't even stop him, man. Okay, we had the key. So... I mean, we didn't have the key, we found the key. All right. Like holy Judas, I thank you. What's up, bro? Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. This is this is interesting because apparently this chick, you know, if we trust Sigurd, she's supposed to give us either gifts, treasures, or knowledge or something. I think she has something to do with the Order of the Ancients in the Hidden Bureau as well. Consider your position. You prepared to fight? Really? Yeah. Our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me prey on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, like, dude. Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend. Yeah. He just doesn't want to die. Your strange friend. That's what I thought, Friar. So, uh... Alright, that was cool. I wonder what kind of knowledge she's going to give us. Let's see what's up. Praise the Lord of the Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are Is she a Templar? Sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Alright, we're gonna bust her out now. Whoa, look at her weapon, it's like a cross hilt. I mean, I, I know all hilts are T's, y'all, relax, but I mean like... It looks like it's meant to be a side of the cross or something. Some weeks, perhaps a month. Oh no. Uh oh. How does he just chill from getting smacked in the face with the hammer? Oh! I'm gonna try to shut up so I don't interrupt the dialogue. But she just went without us. All right. Germania and Francia. I found these relics and carvings, and here in England too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Uh, so this is the knowledge or treasure that Sigurd and Bassam wanted. And they're claiming it's going to help us with this... Claiming this Oxenfortshire. But I don't know... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Oh yeah, Sigurd's ready. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which 
may reveal my true nature. True nature? What? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods Aesa Victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. We're here for an alliance. You're dreaming it is nothing but a stone. Ah, oh, man. All of these things will piss Sigurd off. So I'll just say the truth. My truth. Which is we're here for an alliance. You buy and trade this stone for an alliance. Or more fighting, then. Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. Oh, shit. Through me. Brother. He's dreaming now. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Ah, I suppose we're ready. Might as well. The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may yeah, find it more interesting than you expect. Yeah, y'all look at her hilt. It's so freaking epic. Alright, y'all, the little guide says this is still chapter 2, so we're just gonna keep going in the same vid. Um, man, this strife between Seer and us sucks, but, uh, we may as well go see the stone, because, I mean, what is it about this stone? we'll be getting what he wants, and we'll be closer to working on our alliance. This stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer. No! But I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldapath, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Beyond you. Beyond you gone. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Eid means eyes and ears, no doubt. I... I don't know what to think, you guys. Honestly, I'm kind of confused. But, uh... I will say, you know, we're doing this because Sigurd gets what he wants and we're closer to getting to work on the Alliance, but, um... Sigurd's starting to be kind of sus with his I'm the Sinan of the Gods and, uh... I was sent here by the Gods stuff. I don't know if all that's necessarily true. Um... I'm nervous. Shut up, I'm right behind you. Refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops <laughs> of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul, are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. 
this was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked that. I've been here before, guys, just so y'all know. That's why uh, all this stuff is open. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Bullshit. This is Bass's fault. How is it? <laughs> I don't even know how it would be. It doesn't matter. We will get the stone. Oh man, I miss the old Sigurd. He's changed. Bassem's changed him, so it is Bassem's fault, but we will get the stone. Patience, brother. We will find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Oh shit! You know, maybe I've been I've been doing everything I can to avoid betraying Sigurd. What I'm starting to think is maybe we're gonna have to betray him because he's just going crazy. You Danes my in a way, maybe I shouldn't take in Randy, man. Kissed her. Lady Edwin, the stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes. And the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. Well, that stone. We will leave your lands and not return. Oh, no, oh no. You must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. Bassam, you bitch. Shut up. We have a deal then. Oh no. We accept. No. We do not. Avon! <laughs> Oh! Cut them down! Leave that alive! Oh! Avon, are you mad? Oh shit! He's mad! You're mad! Shit, boy! Oh man! We will speak of this, Avon! I will not forget! Now he's gonna be on Dag's side no matter what Dag says! Oh god! Man, I'm so torn, you guys. Cause I mean, dude, Sigurd is willing to betray his word, which he had to do for this freaking stone, just to figure out if he's related to the gods. I'm wondering why is Bassin even like messing with all that stuff too? Like, why is he whispering in, in Sigurd's ear about that? Like, what does he care about the gods and stuff? I don't know, y'all. This is whack. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah, this is not good. I was literally, if y'all have seen the past videos, all of my predictions were okay. We're not just sugar. Working together again. And this whole time, he's just being. 
mind is thought to be warped by Bassam, man. I, I liked Bassam too, man. Ah, oh, this is crazy. I'm starting to think the strife, the betraying Sigurd. I don't know, y'all. Might not be. Fool. That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. <sighs> Sigurd, you are a coward. For betraying his word, we have a pact with Gaedric. I will not betray Gaedric. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Master? Take a breath. Punch Bass and fuck yeah. He deserved that Stay shit. Out of this. Enough. If it wasn't clear what fuck you, Bass. Command it is now. Your temper runs too hot. Fuck you. Shut the fuck you up. To settle things with Bassam, you call a home gang. Oh fuck yeah, let's do it. You listen to me. You do as I ask. Fuck you, dude. Lead to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Avor. No, it wasn't, you fucking idiot. He's making this shit up as he goes. Yet you yeah. To keep me guessing yeah, exactly. Madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passion. You dumb bastard. I know that. My father knew it. Are you fucking kidding? Your father knew it. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, punch your ass, bitch. Fuck him. He deserved that shit. You move with the wrath of Odin, but you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. They both deserve to get punched. Gosh. To prepare for. Yeah, fuck you, man. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? No! He's just being sus as shit. As family, as kin, I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. <sighs> you guys. That. Mm, that made me put my controller down. That, I think, there's been great cutscenes and moments in this game, of course, but that was the first time that I have been, like, passionate, like, actually pissed off at the other characters. Ah. Uh, you only have your own thoughts, but let me just sit here and think for a second. So, this whole time... Sigurd, man, I was so excited to see him again, but Bassin has been whispering one word in his ear after another like a snake, and I liked Bassin too, he was like, he's like Hytham's mentor, right, Hytham from Ravensthorpe, our, our hometown, but, man, Sigurd is just being so sucky, and so is Bassin, oh, I was so happy to punch Bassin in the fucking face, but, um, Man, y'all, this, this, honestly, like, no just, no shit talk. This story is getting crazy as shit and interesting as shit. And I'm, uh, I'm really excited to keep playing this. But I'm fucking upset, man. I, and he was like, if you want to fight Bassam, challenge him to a home game. Oh, I would love to now. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't like how Bassam's messing with the brothers' relationship at all. Um, I'm, yo, I'm gonna get even more pissed. I know that I, I'm supposed to not talk during the dialogue because it fucks it up. But if Dag also joins then and is being a dickhead, oh, I'm gonna be so mad. It's gonna be so annoying. But um, 
Now I'm thinking maybe I should have had the romance with Rand V, you know. Just cause. No, but because they're not even in love, you know. Ugh, and then... He, he lied, dude. He was willing to betray someone we gave our word to just for this stone to see if he is descendant of the gods because he thinks it'll give him true... like this land will be his. But already it's not. I mean, even if that were true, none of these people are going to recognize that. It's England. It's Christians, you know? Everywhere. So Sigurd's all kinds of not thinking straight. And then at that end argument, he had the balls to say, we plan to siege it and help Gidric anyway. It's just so unlike him to say that. First of all, he didn't. And he has no reason for... The, the, the voice acting and everything's great. Yo, I'm actually getting pissed. Because, like, he has no reason not to tell us. We've been, like we just told Fulke, we've been close our whole lives. So why would he not just tell us the plan? He's saying, trust in me, I'm your master. That's bullshit. Come on now. Woo! Y'all, this story is getting whack as hell. I'm loving it. You guys made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. And, um, man. Man, oh man, oh man! I'm excited to play us this way, but I feel like it's gonna piss me off. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.